I have the sense that uh, there's just going to be a new startup that's going to basically be the page rank inventor, which has become the new tech giant. I don't know, I would love to hear your kind of opinion if Google, Meta, and Microsoft are as gigantic companies able to pivot so hard to create new products. Like some of it is just even hiring people or having a corporate structure that allows for the crazy young kids to come in and just create something totally new. Do you think it's possible or do you think it'll come from a startup? Yeah, it is this always big question, which is you, you get this feeling, I, I hear about this a lot from CEOs, found, founder CEOs, where it's like, wow, we have 50,000 people. It's now harder to do new things than it was when we had 50 people. Like, yeah. Like what has happened? So that, that's a recurring phenomenon. Um, by the way, that's one of the reasons why there's always startups and why there's venture capital. Um, it's, mm. it's just that's, that's like a timeless uh, kind of thing. So that, that, that that's one observation. Um, on, <laughs> on page rank, um, we, we can talk about that, but on, on page rank, specifically on page rank, um, there actually is a page. So there is a page rank already in the field and it's the transformer, right? So the, the, the big breakthrough was the transformer. Um, and uh, the transformer was invented in uh, 2017 mm -hmm. at Google. And, and this is actually like really an interesting question because it's like, okay, the transformers, it, like why does OpenAI even exist? Like mm -hmm. the transformers invented at Google, why didn't Google? I asked a guy, I asked a guy I know who was senior at Google Brain kind of when this was happening. And I said, if Google had just gone flat out to the wall mm -hmm. and just said, look, we're going to launch, we're going to launch the equivalent of GPT-4 as fast as we can. Um, he said, I said, when could we have had it? And he said, 2019. Yeah. They could have just done a two-year sprint with the transformer and, and, and Bennett because they already had the compute at scale. They already had all the training data and yeah. they could have just done it. There's a variety of reasons they did didn't do it. This is like a classic big company thing. Um, IBM invented the relational database in, 19, in the 1970s, let it sit on the shelf as a paper. Larry Ellison picked it up and built Oracle. Xerox Park invented the interactive computer. They let it sit on the shelf. Steve Jobs came and turned it into the Macintosh, right? And so there is this pattern. Now, Having said that, sitting here today, like Google's in the game, right? So Google, you know, mm -hmm. maybe maybe they, they maybe they let like a four-year gap there go there that they maybe shouldn't have, but like they're in the game, and so now they've got you know now they're committed, they've done this merger, they're bringing in demos, they've got this merger with DeepMind, yeah. you know they're piling in resources. There are rumors that they're you know building up an incredible you know super LLM, um, you know way beyond what we even have today, um, and they've got you know unlimited resources and a huge you know they've been challenged <laughs> their honor. <laughs> yeah, I had, uh, I had a, a chance to hang out with Sundar Pichai. A, a couple of days ago and we took this walk and there's this giant new building uh, where there's going to be a lot of AI work uh, being done and it's kind of this ominous feeling of like the fight is on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there's this beautiful Silicon Valley nature like birds are chirping yeah. and this giant building and it's like uh, the beast has been awakened. Yeah. And, yeah. and then like all the big companies mm -hmm. are waking up to this. They have the compute, but also the little guys have, uh, it feels like they have all the tools to create the killer product. Mm -hmm. That uh, And then uh, there's also the tools to scale. If you have a good idea, if you have the page rank idea. So uh, there's several things that is page rank. Pa there's page rank, the algorithm, and the idea, and there's like the implementation of it. And I feel like killer product is not just the idea, like the transformer, it's the implementation, something something really compelling about it. Like you just can't look away. Something like um, the algorithm behind TikTok versus TikTok itself, like the actual experience of TikTok that just, you can't look away. It feels like somebody's gonna come up with that. Yeah. And it could be Google, but it feels like it's just easier and faster to do for a startup. Yeah, so so the startup the, the huge the huge advantage the startups have is they just they, they, there's no sacred cows there's no historical legacy to protect there's no need to reconcile right. your new plan with the existing strategy there's no communication overhead there's no you know big companies are big companies they've got pre meetings planning for the meeting then they have the, then they have the post meeting and the recap then they have the presentation of the board then they have the next rounds of meetings yeah and and that's Lots the meetings. that's the elapsed time when the startup launches its product right so 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 there's a timeless <laughs> right yeah so, so there's a timeless thing there now yeah. What the startups don't have is everything else, right? So startups, they don't have a brand, they don't have customer relationships, they've got no distribution, they've got no you know scale. I mean, sitting here today, they can't even get GPUs, right? Like there's like a GPU shortage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> startups are literally stalled out right now because they can't get chips, mm -hmm. which is like super weird. Yeah, um, they got the cloud. They, yeah, but the clouds run out of chips, yeah. um, <laughs> right? And then and then the, and then to the extent the clouds have chips, they allocate them to the big customers, yeah. not the small customers, right? And so 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 the small companies lack everything other than the ability to just do something new. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Um, and, and this is the timeless race and battle. And this is kind of the point I tried to make in the essay, which is like both sides of this are good. Like it's really good to have like highly scaled tech companies that can do things that are like at staggering levels of sophistication. It's really good to have startups that can launch brand new ideas. They ought to be able to both do that and compete. They neither one ought to be subsidized or protected from the others. Like that's that's to me, that's just like very clearly the idealized world. It is the world we've been in for AI up until now. And then, of course, there are people trying to shut that down. But my hope is that, you know, the, the best outcome clearly will be if that continues.